Well, good morning. Um, getting ready to take the boat out today to uh, driver's boat yard to have the hull scrubbed. Um, weather conditions are not particularly good. Um, it's a bit breezy. Um, got about the two foot swells out in the uh, in Southampton water itself. Uh, but with um, the gusting speeds of about 30, 35 knots at the moment. So, going to be a bit of an interesting journey. Um, going to go and get changed uh, and then we'll be on our way. unit before we left and it's very very heavily uh, contaminated, very very heavily coated so I'm hoping that the, uh, the scrub is going to have a, a beneficial effect. Um, which we'll just have to wait and see. So just left Southampton uh, Marina or Tanky Marina, a full throttle up onto the plane sort of Managing 13 knots, which is nowhere near what I would be happy with. So, it'd be interested to see what uh, what conditions we can we can create on the way back after having the scrub done. So, shortly after arriving, the crew at uh, driver's boatyard took over. The slings were put into place very very quickly. It was literally. Matter of seconds, to, couldn't even get the camera out quick enough to uh, to take it, um, and the whole lifting operation itself just took less than uh, less than a minute and a half. Once it was actually lifted out, you can see just how severe the uh, covering is of the, on the lower drive. And although it doesn't look like much on the hull itself, um, it's actually about a quarter of an inch thick with slime and with barnacle growth. Once it was out of the water, you could see just how bad the contamination is on the bottom of the hull and on the side of the drive unit. Uh, the other side was just as bad. Uh, you can see also the barnacle growth over the depth sounder uh, and also with, over the uh, hydraulic ramps. They got to work with cleaning it very, very quickly. Uh, unfortunately, I had to step back. I wasn't allowed to stay close by whilst they were doing that. Uh, but it was done literally within a case of about half an hour. Everything was nice and clean. That enabled me to then change over the anodes, and you can see on the one on the left was uh, eaten away, pretty much destroyed. Uh, the one on the right is the nice new fresh one. It didn't take long before the boat was ready to go back into the water, uh, and the lift back in was just as quick as the lift out. Uh, the whole lot took less than two minutes to get it from its straps uh, up onto the uh, uh, onto the crane and back into the water. As you can see there, uh, the uh, the lower side of the hull is lovely and clean, um, exposing that copper coat, you know, so almost like a fresh coating underneath there once it was, uh, once it was nicely cleaned off. Uh, and say a nice uh, precision lift back into a very, very small space uh, on the dock side there. You can see between the two other, other vessels. Um, and the wind had picked up quite significantly by this point as well, which made it uh, 
quite interesting for the uh, crane operator and for the, uh, the two lads that were guiding it back in. at least another 25 minutes, half hour and the wind's now picked up quite significantly so um, not sure how interesting it's going to be to, to dock again but hey ho, we'll get there. So once out to Southampton Water, they will have to open up the throttle and get up onto the plane as quickly as possible. You can hear the engine's really uh, singing quite nicely now. Uh, turning her into wind, uh, 
basically just drifting backwards into the uh, into the pontoon itself. 